two weeks to go in the race for New York governor and tonight the two candidates squaring off in an election that has drawn national attention. Kathy Hochul and Lee Zeldin sparring tonight on how best to govern New York. We need to make our streets safe again. We gave people property tax rebates this year. The people of New York are demanding transparency. They want to know who's coming, where they're coming from, who they are, where they're going. I don't know how you think that people aren't going to notice your past record. I'm Josh Heinegger at Pace University, and if it's the goal of a political debate to draw contrast with your opponent, mission accomplished when it comes to these two candidates for governor tonight. It's quickly become the biggest issue facing New Yorkers, and right out of the gate tonight, Long Island Congressman Lee Zeldin went on the attack on crime. I'm here for one reason, to save our state. There are criminals out there who need to pay the consequences for their action instead of the catch release policies that Kathy Hochul champions. It is a joke to talk about a crime policy that doesn't include doing something about illegal guns. When you had the chance as a member of Congress to stand with other Republicans who finally said enough is enough, you were nowhere to be found, Lee. I mean, that's people need to know you can't talk about it's all you have is rhetoric for 15 minutes they sparred on crime alone democratic governor kathy hochel touting changes to bail laws and a recent partnership with the city to patrol the subway zeldin a republican laying the blame for crime at hochel's feet kathy hochel's too busy patting herself on the back job well done no it's not about governing by sound bites i'm governing by sound policy yes we have more illegal guns off our streets because i brought together people from nine states to work together. We're hitting the gun traffickers. It wasn't just crime on the agenda. Zeldin is anti-abortion, and though he cheered when the Supreme Court struck down Roe v. Wade, he claims he wouldn't push for an abortion ban in New York. When we woke up the day after the Dobbs decision, the law in New York was exactly the same as it was the day before, and I'm not going to change that. What is so appalling is the sort of general campaign conversion that we're trying to hear from Lee Zeldin, who will say, oh, no, I really won't change any. I really, nothing changed the day after the Dobbs decision. You know why nothing changed the day after the Dobbs decision? It's because I'm the governor of the state of New York, and he's not. Hochul so has sought to portray Zeldin as a far-right extremist well, endorsed by Donald Trump. Zeldin supported the former president's efforts to overturn the election, even voting not to certify results of two states after the insurrection on January 6th, which he blamed on Democrats. But several times tonight, Zeldin tried to distance himself from Trump, we unlike Hochul with President debates. Biden. Do you want to see Joe Biden run for re-election? Yes, I do. Do you want to see Donald Trump run for president in 2024, Lee Zeldin? Not even thinking about it. I'm focused on 14 days from today. Zeldin was for a long time seen as a long shot in this race until recently when the polls started to tighten. The question tonight is, did he perform well enough to maintain his momentum or can Hochul still pull it out? Early voting starts this weekend.